<laughs> Absolutely not. And just like that, y'all. Okay, this is woke. You can literally. Guys, I've been waiting all day to do this. I'm scared. Like, who the heck has grime eye on the license plate in America? That's fing crazy. Going shopping at my favorite store ever. We gotta find some goods. So we just came with all our measurements and hopefully we come across some good finds today, huh? Some home goods. Some home goods. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, look how freaking cute this is. It's from Ugg. I didn't even know Ooh. they made sheet sets. It says king on here, but then it says queen. Oh, shucks. And all the other ones uh, are queen also. We thought we scored a king because all the other ones are queens. I'm so sad. Never mind, they don't have a king here. I'm gonna have to hit up other locations to see if they have our size because I don't see it. <laughs> this is it, leaving empty handed. <laughs> We didn't find any good things today. We just came to World Market. We came to look at the furniture, but they don't have anything that we like. So, of course, we got snacks. If you know, you know. Oh my God, you guys, look at our Target. This is so pretty. You guys, look at this little shopping center. I'm so excited. This is our Target. It's such a vibe so cute look at this grand entrance with the rose bushes how pretty compared to the target by our old house this is like so bougie i love it already and we're not even inside i know look how pretty this view is it's a little lake by our house we should rent a little boat and come down here for the day. If y'all haven't tried Violet Crumble, you guys have no idea what you're missing out on. Please run to your nearest world market and pick it up. It's actually from Australia. And fun fact, I'm not a big chocolate person at all, but this, I will die for a Violet Crumble. There's also something similar called a Crunchy Bar. If you guys have heard of that, it's very similar. It's just like a competitive brand from Cadbury. But because I grew up in Fiji, it's so close to Australia and New Zealand. So I pretty much grew up on their candy. That's a whole nother story. I know I've mentioned it before, but that's probably, I gotta save that for a whole nother video. I was also so fortunate to visit Australia and New Zealand quite a few times, like growing up as a kid. And I've tried so many different of their candies, but this one has to be my favorite. Favorite. Our candy in America could literally never. Like we have nothing like this. It is so freaking bomb. And you know what's crazy? As we were driving home, I was opening this up and the car in front of us, the license plate literally said, G'day mate. And I was like, wait, what? Is this a trick right now? Like I was tripping out. Like who the heck has grime eye on the license plate in America? That's fucking crazy. If I have any Aussie followers, please comment below. And I'm sure you guys will understand like, how much I was tripping because I was just like, wait, what are the odds? But anyway, long story short, if you have not tried a Violet Crumble, please try it and let me know what you guys think. And if you have tried it, let me know what you think because they are my fave. Y'all, look how freaking cute my new mugs are. I am literally obsessed. We got them at World Market yesterday. We took the tags off already, which said $6.99, but when we went to check out, they were actually on sale for $4.49. So we scored. I'm so happy. They are so adorable. And then I'm so excited because I just got my new oil bottles in from Amazon. Shout out to my friend Kim Tai. She actually talked about these in one of her recent vlogs. So I was like, oh my God, I need to get them. They're so cute. I've gone through so many different types of oil bottles that always end up leaking. So I'm really excited for these ones. I actually got two sets, but I wanted to try these out first and make sure they're good because girl, this set was like almost 40 bucks for the two. So I was like, let me just make sure that they work right before or I use these ones too. I already washed them and let them dry overnight. That way there is absolutely no water drops. It even comes with this cute little funnel. I need to fill them up, but Eldon and I are actually gonna run to the Amazon Fresh store later because we gotta pick up some groceries and run some errands. So we're gonna do that. And then when I get home later, I will fill them up with you guys so we can see how they come out. You guys, it's been officially a week since we've been here and we still have not <laughs> arranged our living room yet. <laughs> So we're trying to figure out how we want the couches. So we're gonna try and like move it around a little bit and see how it goes. By the way, these came in clutch. Eldon ordered all of these 
vacuum sealed bags to pack all of our comforters, pillows, blankets, and they compress them by like less than a quarter, huh? Yeah, it saves so much space. Saves so much space for packing. Did you get them on Amazon? Yeah, okay, put the link down below. Perfect. We still have our rug, but I just ordered a new one, so it's on its way, and it should be here next week. I feel like if it's here, then it just like closes this whole area off. Yeah. So, okay, let's try it. All right. We just have to move all this stuff so we can like see what it looks like, minus all the extra stuff. What are you doing? Where do you want to put those for now? No, no. So many decisions. Okay, let's try move it. Should we move this out? No, no, do that. Trying to imagine all this stuff. Not there, but. I don't know. I feel like I'm definitely going more for the first one, but let's try move this couch right here and then swap that. that <laughs> absolutely, no. absolutely not. Yeah, it definitely has to go the first way. If we had like an L couch, that would work. Like, so it like connects against the wall, but yeah. no. This is definitely the best setup so far. If you guys have any other ideas, let us know. I'll definitely keep you guys updated once we start moving more things around because I want your guys' opinions on the layout. These decisions be hard. Quick update on the closet slash glam room. It is not gonna fit, mama. The layout is just so different, so it's not gonna fit the way that we had it before. So I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. I might have to take out two of these sections and put it in the guest room which I really do not want to do, but I want to keep the glam in the closet all in one room. I don't know how I'm going to make it fit though. Like this is so crunched in here. I also would love to keep this window area open. That way I have natural light because at the last house we had to block all the windows to make it all fit. So I don't know. I think we're going to work on this today and I will definitely update you guys once I get it done because this is going to be quite the project. We made it. This is my first time at an Amazon Fresh store. I've never been so excited to go get groceries. <laughs> Fun fact, Eldon already came here because I think he set up like your fingerprints or something. It scans your palm. Oh, per. And we got hard Target <laughs> reusable bags. <laughs> And we're in. Cool. Okay, this is woke. You can literally ask Lisa anything, which we're so used to doing at home anyway. <laughs> so, where can I find oat milk? Find oat milk at Alton and Dairy Coolers. Wow, that's literally legendary. You can bag as you shop with their bags, but we have a reusable one, so you literally just throw everything in your cart, in your bag, and you don't even have to check out, right? Yep, you just walk out. You don't have to talk to anyone if you don't want to. You can literally just throw everything in and walk straight out. Do you already have to have an Amazon account, or do you have to like sign up first and then go? You have to set up, but if you have a Prime account, you get deals also. Watch how easy this is. <laughs> Grab it, bag it, and you're good to go. That's literally next level. And the craziest thing is Eldon said, if you put it back, they know when you put it back. There's like a million sensors, look at them all. That's literally crazy because he said that he tried it last time and he checked his receipt, like once it emailed to his account and it didn't charge him for what he put back. So it knew, that's like so crazy. They also have an alcohol section and you can see like this is the exit, but on the other side, they check you in because you don't check out at the register. So they have oh. to check your ID then. That's hella fancy. Oh my God, over here they have a salad bar and they even have a charcuterie section and all the hot food at the fresh kitchen. And the best part is they charge you per container. So you can just fill it up with whatever you want. Oh, and not have to go by weight? Yep. I'd be stuffing it, mama. Oh my God, they even have ready-made soup. Bomb. And just like that, y'all, easy peasy. And we're ready, walking out. You know your husband's a real one when he puts your eggs away for you, but is vegan. 
Guys, I've been waiting all day to do this. I'm transferring over the olive oil from my other bottle. Slowly, but surely. Cute. I forgot to show you guys that these oil bottles also come with stickers and labels. So they have all of these options here. And there's literally a ton. Like, hello. We've got the extra virgin olive oil. So oh, I should have did that first. I totally forgot. This is the one I had the vegetable oil in. And I've had it for quite a few years. And as you can see, she is cracked, mama. This thing is donezo. And I think I spent like $25 on this one, just this alone. Like, why are they so expensive? Ooh, and this one fits more. Yes. And then I also have this one. I think this is canola oil. I'm not sure. But this is from the brand OXO. This one works actually pretty good. But the other one that I have like this has sesame oil in it. And it just leaked everywhere. And it's just such a mess. So, I don't know. This one kind of worked in the meantime but i'm really hoping that these work better this is like true housewife shit when you know what bottle works the best <laughs> i made this little thing to make sure it's straight but honestly i think it's better just to stick it right on and eyeball it i'm scared <laughs> Is it a little higher? <sighs> Mine. I love these alcohol wipes. I use these first to make sure that there's like no fingerprints or anything on there. And that way it sticks better. Ugh, this is going to drive me nuts. They look really close, but I think this one is a slight bit higher. But luckily, I only keep this one out on my counter. This one's gonna go in the cabinet, so she's so low. This is the brand. I'll make sure to link it down below. I got them on Amazon. I'm literally obsessed. They look so freaking cute. I'm so excited. I'm making fried rice right now and it's been a hot minute since I've made it. That was actually one of the reasons why we went to the Amazon Fresh store today because I needed some ingredients to throw down. But I actually had this leftover ground pork with tofu that I made. I wanted to mix it up and just throw it in a fried rice. So I think it's gonna be blessing, mama. Sheesh Louise, my eyes are crying up a river. She's wet. Ugh. That experience at the Amazon Fresh Store was amazing though. Literally top tier experience. I actually have a full tutorial on how I make my fried rice on my cooking channel and I'll link it here for you guys to go watch it if you haven't already. Today though, I am adding a lot more stuff in it just to make it like very, mm, I don't know, scrumptious. But fried rice is just like chow mein. You can literally add whatever you want to it and it'll be busting. I am obsessed with this oven, you guys. I talked about it in our house tour video. Another video, if you haven't watched, I'll link it here so you guys can go watch. <laughs> we have Koei keeping me company down here. I'm about to break this baby in and see how she works. Hopefully no leaks. No leaks so far. Oh yeah, baby. So you want a generous amount of oil. And then I always use my wok for cooking fried rice because it just cooks it way more easier and I feel like a little faster. It goes the eggs. Okay, let's give her a little taste test. Oh my god. Wow. Yum. Oh my god. Mmm.